all right so what is going on today youtube got a quick little fun video for you now if you guys have been watching my channel for any amount of time you would know when i play Yu Gi Oh, i go against the greatest i mean the greatest the the, the gods of Yu Gi Oh. that's the best way to put it i go against the gods of Yu Gi Oh because they draw what they need they draw a button they have the best cards they have the best combos this is always the greatest shit so as you can tell by the title some great shit is gonna happen but stay tuned in the video because there is a surprise. It's, it's an epic duel. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just say that. No, not really too much epic, but it's just it it, it it's it's decent. So <clears throat> as you can see, my opponent is playing Masterpiece Turbo. No, not Masterpiece Turbo. But he's playing True Dracos. I guess that that's the name of it. So I'm thinking, all right, you know, he's gonna drop a, a what's name Masterpiece. Probably set a couple of back row. That to be it. No, he decides to play the best card that I don't understand why nobody else is playing. Press this card from beyond. If you guys don't know what this is. You're about to see exactly what it does. So, yeah, he's drawing four fucking cards, and it's not once per turn. And if you guys know, if you guys know about True Dracos, they all can fucking normal summon multiple times in one turn. And then he draws a card of demise, draws two more fucking cards, activates True Dracos to Sexer, drops another fucking masterpiece on the board, and draws four more fucking cards, which is goddamn ridiculous. Look at this shit. This is stupid. This is ridiculous. Look. Look, look, look how much cards he's at. What is this? That's a uh, seven, eight. That's 11 cards. So it starts off with six. That's a plus five right now. But Carter Demise does activate. So, I mean, he's discarded his whole hand. But look at this shit. Double Masterpiece. I don't know. Is once again, unknown back room when I'm playing. And a fucking Dominion. But you know what? We're good. Because we are playing Spirals. And Spirals can get out of a lot of shit. Because they have a whole bunch of cards in Spiral Sleeper. Which is the greatest card of all time. So, some of my uh, super agent call spells because I figure, you know, this deck is mostly spells as you can possibly see. Yeah, there's a shitload of spells. So, I mean, the uh, odds of me missing um, are, are uh, very, I mean, they're, they're, they're decent, but you have a better chance of hitting the spell. So, some of the super agent popped the Dominion. He decides to activate Masterpiece for some odd reason. I don't know why he did that. That was stupid. Used the Kaiju to get over the other one. Then describe my dead Gofu, get this back, and then bam, unending nightmare. So I'm thinking, fuck, I, I'm just about to lose now because now I can't, you know, go, basically get get more shit on the board and continue to go off. So I was like, all right, it's over. I, I lost. So I got an instant fusion. I'm like, fuck, I guess I can go Tornado Dragon because his back row is locked up. Um, all three diagrams are in the graveyard. All three masterpieces in the graveyard. So I'm thinking the only card he can really use is this one. Which special summons the shit from the graveyard. So why not go Tornado Dragon? So here I go. Just attack over this too. And so I'm thinking, alright, I gotta, you know, get a little... I got, I got, I'm, I'm ahead in the duel. I'm comfortable. I believe I can win the duel from here. Even though my opponent drew fucking 11 cards in the first turn. And ended with a plus 4 technically. Or plus 5. But it's a plus four technically because he did activate the field card. Plus four. I'm thinking, all right, that's it. You know, he, he's going to draw the trap. I can pop it. Game's over. No, my opponent decides he wants to draw a fucking card of demise. So unending nightmare just pops face up shit. Then he gets this. So I think, fuck, I, I got I got to get rid of something. So summons uh, the dynamite knight. All right, that's cool. Draw a quick fix. I'm fine because quick fix can get over everything. So I'm thinking, all right, everything goes right. I can beat him this turn. So, here we go. Summon Quick Fix. Add another big red. He gets the Dynamite Knight. I'm not tripping about that. Because this is the one that special summons. And uh, what's the name? I was thinking about actually popping this when he activated it. But I read this and I said, okay. This is going to only activate once per turn. So, what I'm going to do is use Tornado Dragon on this if he's trying to pop my big red. Because this is going to risk going to get me out. And he actually does it. So, I did bait it out pretty perfectly. But then he activate this, so I'm thinking, all right, I may I may not be able to OTK him because he's going to have all my attack, and I am, I have to put like a sleeper on board to get over this. So here we go. I get the uh, other big red quick fix back. Search another big red because I thought it was not once per turn because I continue to forget. So here we go. We're going in Princess Sprites because this is all or nothing. Pretty much what my play was. Try to get something with Princess Sprite instant fusing into a thousand hour restrict and then big red. Um, the quick fix back. But as you guys probably know, if if I don't hit with this Princess Sprite, I pretty much lose. And lo and behold, we hit a terraforming. So I'm like, thank God we drew the best card in the goddamn game. So 
here we go we're going to enact our actual play because i do have multiple spirals in the graveyard here we go for the th this is when i thought thousand hour restrict was going to i know i wasn't going to take something but this is why i was going to use the big red and i figured fuck i fucked up so he does that he destroys it reduces my attack and so right now i'm like fuck all right there's only one way i can win i have to make my opponent has to pretty much believe that he's doing something different so what that mean is I'm going to use sleepers effect. Now this is where I mess up. I use sleepers effect to target my quit my field card when I should have just targeted itself because it was going to happen anyways. So my thought process is okay. I want I'm going to use sleeper to destroy dynamite and then one of the traps. I want the trap to then destroy sleeper. This is my thought process, but I should have just destroyed sleeper itself and the same shit would have happened. So here i left it up to chance i could have like let my opponent get another car i mean another draw and he possibly could have beat me or something like that but my my opponent falls into the trap kills sleeper sleeper destroys everything special summons agent and we attack for game so thank you guys for watching that was an epic duel but as you can see my opponent fucking drew 11 cards in the first turn and plus forward i, I was not supposed to win this duel but spirals are the best deck but, but besides zombies but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Click add to help support the channel. And I will see you guys at 1 o'clock.